Hi everyone, and welcome to High Valley Couponer, and yeah, I am here with an updated stockpile tour, and it's a totally different setup than last time. A lot of you have been asking to see what my stockpile has looked like now since I've got back out to couponing since quarantine. My stockpile actually hit a very low point, if you can believe that. Um, well, a low point for me. Most people might not think it's a low point, but I definitely could feel it was getting low, and there's still some areas that do need restocked. However, I am really excited to get back. Um, I've been back into couponing for the last couple of months, and been able to rebuild my stock. It's in this closet now, which it was always, uh, it's been in several different places in my house. But this closet, I always had in the back of my mind, this closet would be great. But it was, it had storage in it and lots of stuff. Well, during the whole stay at home shelter in place thing, we got this cleaned out and moved the stockpile in it. And I'm actually pretty happy with it. Um, it really is nice and it's in its own space and its own area. And it just is awesome. And I'm able to get a lot of stuff in here. I still have the laundry room stockpile as well with other cleaning stuff and things like that. So let's just get on into this. So... First thing is this over-the-door shoe organizer, which I saw somebody post this online, and it's an excellent idea if you're trying to make good space in this tiny little closet. So um, I have toothbrushes in all these, um, and then I have these flossers, and here I have the Listerine Ready Tabs. Those are actually really good. I like these. And then floss, more flosses. This is like emery boards and some clear nail polish. And here is Blistex and um, more chapstick. Okay, here I have school supplies. So all this is pencils. That's a lot of pencils. Some ink pens, some Sharpies. I could use some more ink pens with Sharpies. Whiteout, I think we're pretty fine on. Some index cards and um, more junk. And then here are these Dr. Scholl's callus cushions. They're just a really good place to put these is right here in this thing. Okay. Here, you're going to see two of these carts, and these carts are really, really nice. They really make a big difference in organization. I think they are from Walmart. They're just roll carts. I've got them on each end of the closet. So, to start out, I got pain relievers, like Thermacare creams, tons of ibuprofens, um, more ibuprofen, this little biofreeze thing I got for free, um, acetaminophen, etc., and then some aspirin for my grandparents, um, Neosporin, and then some Band-Aids. I would like to have some more Band-Aids. I really would like to have more of that and more Neosporin. Down here is all vitamins. I need more multivitamins for sure. Definitely would like to get more of those. Eye drops, those are totally fine. I'm filled to the brim on eye drops. Down here is all cold and flu medicines, like Alka-Seltzer, the Breathe Right Nose Strips, Afrin that we were getting on deals, that crazy money-making Ranicort. Little Remedies and all those children's Zyrtex. We have enough of those forever. <laughs> Down here is all stomach ailments. These are always free, like the Docalax were huge money makers, so I have a million of them. All that kind of stuff. There's tons of things like that. Tons of things. Preparation H, Roll Aids, things like that. Okay, so let's come on into the closet. So these are actually old bookshelves that we just really didn't have a purpose for, so um, we use them for couponing um, organizations. So let me just take you guys over here first. This is bar soaps, all these shea moistures that were a moneymaker, the dial soap. I definitely could use more bar soap. Really no one uses that except for my grandma, so I'll get it when we need more for her. These are all my poly grips, and keep in mind I just gave like four or five to my grandma, so I still have five left. All this is the poly dent and poly grip and effort that goes back really deep. So I have several of those, not just four. Here I have all my toothpaste. Tons and tons and tons of toothpaste. Sorry, the camera's not wanting to focus. There we go. Huge. Okay, here is all mouthwash galore. Mouthwash for days. Yes. I'm really close to it. This closet's pretty narrow. Okay, and all of this is body wash. Men's body wash. I got Suave, Nivea. Axe. Axe is my brand of choice. Um, some Dove. And then this is women's body wash, which I have a fair amount of that too. Suave and Dove. I've been getting these on deals at Walmart lately. This is mainly this is from mainly this is from before the quarantine. This is not something I really had to restock too much on. After the quarantine had just ended, I was out of polygrip. So I was able to get like 10 of those since this quarantine started or ended. So that's definitely something I've rebuilt my stock on for sure. Toothpaste, I, we can get that anytime for free. So that's really, really a worry. But I've got a few added in since the quarantine. Um, mouthwash and stuff, not really too much. Deodorant, 
I had tons of deodorant before this quarantine and kept adding on to it after, right? I'm loading up on all these things. Yeah, weekly, getting more and more deodorant. That's all ladies deodorant. There's some spray. And here is the men's deodorant. Tons of that. Okay, so down here is facial stuff. So I have all this lotion. I definitely have got some lotion since this. There's Oxy. Um, the Oxy, that was a huge money maker. I got that a couple weeks ago. Over here, like simple St. Ives, sunscreens, facial stuff, all that kind of stuff. And really, this is the continuation. So the Neutrogena bars, um, the Alme, simple wipes. The Nair, that definitely was added after the quarantine for that huge money maker. Huggies wipes, boogie wipes, and then the Johnson's powder and baby bars, and some like cotton swabs and Q-tips and things. So you're going to see that I have hair care galore. I have so many hair products. This, a lot of this came honestly after the quarantine because they've just been on sale all over the place so here's all my suave look at that suave 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 and more suave axe old spice and more suave right gotta have suave <laughs> here is a shelf with hair products so this is all mousse um dry shampoo hairspray i've not got any hairspray since this quarantine Began, so that's something I will actively need to find deals on, but I'm still really well stocked for now. More hairspray, more hairspray, and some men's hairspray. More hairspray, and then gel, and this um, these masks we got for free at Kroger a while ago. Okay, and then here is just more shampoos, like ladies shampoo galore. That's a lot of shampoo, a lot of shampoo. More shampoo. It's a lot. I feel like a hoarder with all this shampoo. I got to do a clear out. Um, donate or give some to people. I got to do a way to clear this out because I just got too much shampoo. Okay, and down here I have some like cheapo shampoo. I only have a couple things of gel left. I need more hair gel for sure. Some overflow shampoo that I don't really know what to do with. Oh, wait, yeah, that's all curl shampoo. Okay. Scunties, Pantene, hair masks, things like that. And then all this is um, Suave Kids shampoo that was free at Kroger. This is definitely, if you look at my last stockpile video from like uh, April, you'll see I was barely, I was almost out of shave cream. Well, it's been on sale every single week almost. And I've loaded up on it for free. So all this Edge um, shaving creams and the Skin Tint, I've been able to completely reload on that. I'm so excited that I've been able to rebuild my shaving stock. De or not shaving, the shaving cream stock. Definitely something good that I've been able to do. I have definitely maintained a healthy razor stock, but I've been able to definitely also build upon that after this quarantine ended. I'm trying to tell you guys like how I've rebuilt after the quarantine my suffering stock, right? So these are all the big Simply Soleil's. Never pay for these ever. They're always a moneymaker, like all the time. So I have so many of the big Simply Soleil's. Um, I have these Vic Silky Touches and the Gillette Daisies that were free. All these Skin Tint ones, those are free right now. And the Big Soleil um, Advanced, I got all those. And then I also have these razors and all these Daisies from Kroger. Down here, I have some, I have a lot more ladies razors than men's. I have several men's ones, it's kind of hard to see. And then I have all those Gillettes down there. Okay, so feminine care products for life. Okay, and I'm not even a lady, so. No, I have several family members who use these and I can always donate or give them people. So whatever you gotta do, you can do. Okay, so I got all of these poise actives and regular poise. I know it seems like a weird angle, but um, like I said, it's a narrow closet. So you gotta do what you gotta do. All these stay freeze and they go back pretty, uh, pretty high and pretty deep. Down here are the Carefree Breathes and some Always More Stay Free because I have a ton of Stay Free. In that corner is 10. I'm sorry, it's so dark. This is the last time you're going to see darkness. The rest of it's going to be really lit up. Down there are Carefree's Cotexes Always. And down there is some more Poise products and um, lots of tampons. That's all tampons. So all these are like free. I, uh, I think the exception is I paid 50 cents for one of them because... It's a certain brand that somebody wants. But besides that, they're always free or moneymaker. You just can, when you work them into bonuses and stuff, that's just how you do it. It's amazing. So, yeah, now we're going to head on over to the laundry stockpile and see all the cleaners, paper products, all that fun stuff. Little detour before heading over to the laundry area. 
all these are trial size. Um, I'm not going to put these in the actual room because I don't really use these. I'm going to probably donate or do something with these soon. Ah, see, we'll keep a few, but not all these. And it continues on. These are free all the time. My shop kick. It continues on down here. Um, and then I also have all this makeup. So craziness, craziness. This is probably my favorite part of the stock. This is my cleaning household stuff. I just feel like this stuff is super essential. And we've learned that during these times that these things were really, really hard to have and get. And I've went through a lot of changes with this um, recently because of the quarantine. I've not, sales have been pretty um, rare on these things. Coupons have been pretty rare on these things. So you've kind of had to just work it in where you can. And my philosophy with these products is I am taking overage from crazy money makers like money maker shampoo, money maker trial size, this and that. And I'm applying that towards my paper goods, towards, you know, the laundry detergent. And for things like that, that's what I'm trying to do at this point is to build this stuff back up. It might look pretty built to you, but my laundry detergent never has a huge hole in the middle of it. It, it doesn't. So I'm trying to get built back up on these things. So let's just talk everything in here. So up here, we got fabric. Sorry, there's a glare from the sun. Fabric refresher. And these are news. It's our fabric refresher too. All these are my laundry pods. We really prefer liquid, but, you know, we'll take what we can take. Down here, we have liquid detergents, a Tide, um, all... There's an all deal coming up at Walgreens. I think it's actually today when you're seeing this. So I'm going to try to get that. Um, Era and Purex. And then some other various detergent. Now down here, the fabric softener was something I was extremely low on. I had like two bottles left. I was really able to stock up. Thanks to Walgreens, actually. Um, all these Suavitels came from Walgreens. Um on that points promo and I worked it into couponing and then this downing was from there too. So Walgreens really was great. Kroger had these snuggles for nine nine cents on a mega sale um, recently. So I've been able to rebuild because of that. I still have a fair amount of dryer sheets. Um, these, I am still trying to rebuild on these. Purex, Crystals, The Unstoppables, things like that because we were down to one bottle. Thankfully this mega sale came up just in time. So I'm able to get it for um, nine nine cents, but I'm gonna work on rebuilding that. Got some pretty good amount of spray and wash and then downy wrinkle release. Okay, let's get down here on the floor so I can show you guys all this. Um, I have some bleach. I usually just get this at Dollar Tree or Dollar General. It's the cheapest I find it. It's a dollar. Here I have some Clorox wipes. These definitely were not from couponing. Um, some of them were from Overage, but a lot. you'll see this with like the Lysol. Um, you're going to see Lysol spray and you're going to also see um, like soap and stuff. S rarely was it from couponing, to be honest. Whenever the stores had it, we would get what we could get with what the limit was, usually limit two or three, whatever the price. And I know that sounds crazy. I don't feel like the stores really gouge that much. I feel like they're the same price as they always were. Obviously with couponing, I would get these things much cheaper, but those days kind of have come to a close for now, unless I have the overage to work it in, which I'm trying to get better at. But in the midst of this quarantine, if you saw something, you got it. So at the price it was. So that's kind of what you did. So we have some Clorox wipes and stuff because my stock was really low on those. I'm um, not being able to shop for all those months. And then also there is some hand soap. I would like to rebuild that up. So it's gonna be my goal is to use overage um, to get these things, okay? And I have this whole stockpile set up with room to grow. I want it to grow on some things, certainly not like more 50 more bottles of shampoo, but like more detergent, more toilet paper and paper towels and things like that. Definitely want room to grow. So here I have all these like Airwick things on the holders, some car clips, and then all these like scents. Here I have Febreze spray, actual sprays. And then over here I have all those Renews that's that I got on big sales. Down here I have dish soap. And this is, I, I would like more dish soap. We do still have a pretty fair amount, but I just would like more. This is something that goes pretty quick. I give it to a lot of people. So I'd like to have more. Finish tabs and stuff. I would really like to have some more of those too. Just not a healthy amount. We usually get the $3 finish coupon around this time of year. So hopefully that comes out soon. How about those Lemmy Shine dish boosters from Swagbucks deals? Here I got Crud Cutter, Windex. I found a one bottle of Windex. And funny story, I don't even know if they make that kind anymore. I got that at Kmart in like 2015. I'm not even joking. When they still existed around here and they were doubling coupons and I had a $2 coupon that doubled and it made it free. And those were the good old days. But I still have that one bottle left. 
pledge wipes from Dollar General Clearance. All this is like the multi-surface Lysol and stuff. We do still have a fair amount of that. Cleaners, I got a good amount. I found these at Family Dollar. Oh, this was free. The seventh generation deal that ran last year when these were 79 cents, still have a fair stock. Bathroom cleaners, lots of Kaboom. Those are from Swagbucks and lots of toilet bowl cleaners still. Down here, it's just miscellaneous things. Garbage disposal cleaner, Mr. Clean, um, magic erasers, things like that. Toilet paper for the win. This is not, if you saw my stockpile video from like February, whenever, I had a huge tower of these. Quarantine hit, no one could find toilet paper. We could not, no one could find it. We just, that was where we were at. So uh, we were out almost, like we had a couple packs left. Um, and I went back to the store in May. I found this thousand sheet pack, which is horrible stuff. I don't want to ever get this again, but desperate times call for desperate measures. So we got that. We got some at Family Dollar, um, Angel Soft or whatever. We've gone through that. But when I started couponing again, I was able to really build back up. I had these actually from January left too. So that was good. But I was able to start using my overage, taking my overage and applying it towards paper goods. So I have all these toilet papers I got with overage, got with good deals. Angel Soft still does have coupons on their site. So that's really helped a lot. Um, and what I've been doing recently is grabbing these and you would think this is 58 cents at Walmart. So I'd use like if I had $3 in overage, so if, you know, a pack like this wouldn't be free. I just get as much packs to use my $3 overage or whatever and get it for free. You would think these are bad because they're 58 cents, but these really are not like they're nowhere even comparable to this. Like this stuff is, whew, this stuff's pretty good. I'll say. So if you're scared because it's 58 cents, I would, I mean, it's not like the best thing in the world. But it definitely is tolerable. So for 58 cents, I think it's a good deal. So I've been working that in. A little cotton L wipe. Paper towels. This are another one. I've not been spending ridiculous amounts of money. I would rather have more quality or more quantity at this point. In case the apocalypse for toilet paper happens again. Because the stores are getting hit up again around here. Like people are starting to freak out and buy stuff again. So I'm just getting what I can. I got these paper towels from Family Dollar. I've been getting these at Walmart with overage for 50 cents. So if I have overage somewhere. Like a, the other day I had like $8 in overage. I filled it in with like five rolls of paper towels. And some toilet paper. And just using my overage for things like this to get loaded back up. So all this. I do have these paper towels from Walgreens that were crazy cheap. Um, I have these smart and simple napkins that were a good deal. I'm at Dollar General when a clearance event was going. Okay, and then I have tissues, which is something I got to build back. I have four of them actually um, waiting to be filmed for my next haul video that you're going to see next Friday. I know it's pretty early to be getting those, but I already got them. I'm just going to use some more overage to cover them um, later in the week. So yeah, but my tissues are pretty low. And then here is all my Lysol. Um, and again, I, this was not couponed really. This is just usually my mom, if she was out, she'd just be like, oh, I want to get this. So we have it. We follow the limit every time. It usually was limit two or limit three or something. So we grab our three every time um, if there was plenty on the shelf and we just get it. Now, this was a good deal. This was $1.49 um, for a while. I was able to get a few of those when they were on sale for $1.49. So that was good. But the rest of them were pretty much full price. Um, so just a, a pro tip. Ah, if you're at Walmart and you're looking for this stuff, this... I've spotted this several times. I rarely ever spot like Lysol cans like this. I think I've saw it one time at Walmart. Um, but if you are looking for Lysol, check with the air freshener because this is a Nutri Air with air freshener and it's $3.97. And it, they always seem to have them, at least around here. People don't think to look with the air freshener. So just a pro tip, if you can't find Lysol anywhere, check there. So yeah, that's my stockpile tour. This is a lot, I know. I'm so proud of it. I'm so happy I'm able to be back out couponing, building it back up. I do need to clear out several things, and I'm going to work on doing that over the coming weeks. But um, I'm really proud of this stockpile. So, yeah, that's all I got for now, and thank you so much for watching.